uh, welcome everyone to this video so today we will solve this problem so let's uh, read out the question first if v1 equals 10 volts so this is 10 volts and v2 5 volts so this is 5 volts and the di uh, diode cutoff voltage is 0 volts uh, find the output voltage v out so we have to find what is this what is the v out voltage okay so for diode circuits uh, we have to find uh, all the diodes are on or off okay so for this we can do open circuit test or short circuit test so here i will do open circuit test so for open circuit test uh, the circuit will look like this so this is open circuit and And this will be also open circuit, right? And open circuit. So this is ground. So for open circuit, if this voltage is 10 volts, so this voltage is also 10 volts, right? And if this voltage is 5 volts, this voltage is also 5 volts. And this, if this is 0 volts, so here this will be 0 volts, and this will be also 0 volt, right? we can connect this way so in so uh, in open circuit test we can find that the the uh, p side of the diode is higher voltage than the n side of this uh, diode so that both of the diode is on right so if both the diode is on and the cut off voltage is zero volt so there will be a short circuit right So our final circuit will look like this and this is 9 ohm this is uh, 1 ohm this is 1 ohm and we have to find the v out so what we can do is we can apply superposition theorem so applying superposition theorem theorem so for superposition theorem let's only v1 is active first so this v2 is inactive so this will be grounded so the voltage here will be v out v out let's say v out 1 okay and the overall v out will be we know that v out will be v out 1 plus v out 2 and v out 2 is the uh, output voltage when only v2 is active and v1 is inactive so v out 1 is nothing but a voltage division and the effective resistance here is 9 ohm parallel 1 ohm uh, whole divided by this like uh, this uh, this resistance uh, plus this resistance right so there will be 1 plus 9 parallel 1 ohm so 9 parallel 1 is nothing but 9 into 1 divided by 9 plus 1 this is 0 0.9 right so this will be and our voltage input v1 voltage will uh, is 10 volts so this is our uh, like output voltage when only v1 is active so this will be 0 0.9 and this will be 1.9 into 10 so we can find 9 uh, 9 divided by 1.9 volts now if you calculate this let me do it with a calculator nine divided by 1.9 so this is four point seven three volts so this is our v1 and for v2 this will be grounded and this is 5 volts right so again the resistive divider will be same because this this 9 and this uh, 1 is in parallel right and the, there is on ohm resistance as well as we have previously so here again the out will be 0 0.9 divided by 1.9 into 5 right 
so let me calculate this so it will be 4.5 divided by 1.9 so let me do do this calculation so 4.5 divided by 1.9 so this will be 2.36 voltage so our overall v out so this is v out two, right so overall v out will be v out one plus v out two so there will be 4.73 plus 2 point let's say this is 4 right and this is let's say 7 so this will be like it is approximately equal to it will be uh, 6 7.1 right let me do it uh, 4.7 plus 2.4 yes 7.1 so we can find that we can find that uh, this output voltage is 7.1 voltage but is the answer is correct absolutely not why because if this is 5 volts and this is 7.1 volt so the positive side of this d2 is uh, lesser than the negative side of the d2 so this actually this circuit becomes off like this diode is off right so it cannot be conducted but we assume that it was conducted previously so actually what happening is here d1 is 1 but our d2 is off while calculating this output voltage so let's do it uh, while d2 is off so our circuit will look like let's say d1 is on and d2 is off means there is no connection like that and here is 9 this is V out this is 1 and this is 10 let's say 10 volts and this is 5 volts and this is 1 so if this is open circuit uh, if this point is open so this circuit are making no effect right so our V out will be nothing but a simple voltage division with a uh, input source of 10 volts so our output will be 9 divided by 9 plus 1 into 10 volts so this will be nothing but uh, 9 volts right now is the answer is correct let's see so if if this is 9 volts and here this is 5 volt so this definitely will be in off right so our assumption is correct that uh, d2 will be off now check for d1 now if v1 is uh, 10 volts and here the inside of the d1 is 9 volts so yes the d1 is is conducted so ha, yes we find that uh, we assume that d1 is conducted and d2 is off and and assuming that uh, we are getting this voltage equals uh, uh, 9 volts right so we recheck that if here is 9 volt if our uh, assumed condition was satisfied or not and we find that our assumed condition is satisfied so our answer must be 9 volt okay so let's see the question again so yes option uh, 3 is our right answer uh, like v out will be 9 voltage so this was for today if you liked our video you can subscribe our channel thank you